Hello my little shugabuggas, welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. Welcome back to another day in paradise. Somebody was saying on Twitter, this is low key turned into the not so 100 baby challenge. And I honestly couldn't agree more. Noelle has more kids than the Brady Bunch and pretty much all of Windenburg combined. I actually think that might be a little bit of a stretch, but you get what I'm saying. Like this chick has a lot of damn kids. Uh, so anyway, we are just kind of picking up where we left off. Maybe just fast forwarding to the morning. If I do talk a little a little strange. Um, it is because I do have a cold sore on my tongue. I know that is so gross, but not, not even close to being as nasty as the little stunt that I pulled in the finale of City Living. Boy, oh my God. I was so embarrassed. And of course you all called me out. And even the little spiel where I was talking about, you know, um, me not having herpes, but I guess it's considered, like, cold sores are considered a form of herpes. I meant to, like, cut that out, too, because, like, honestly, do you care? No, not really. <laughs> so that whole entire episode is literally of, like, Jen. You know, Jen, like, really, though, like, how she is on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, if you and I were best friends, I or even friends in general... I would literally tell you these things. Like, I would. I would. And it would probably be, like, TMI. But that's just kind of the people I vibe with. Like, I'm a very open and transparent person as it is. And I don't have any shame talking about those things because, let's be real, like, <laughs> people, humans are nasty. Um, but, you know, I try to, like, kind of keep that crap to a minimum, especially when it comes to being on YouTube. But, you know, it slipped. And a lot of you found it quite hilarious. So I just, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what Brent is doing nor do I really understand why he still has these super duper creepy like genie eyes and then this red hair um, I know that we did like transform his appearance, I guess. I don't know what we did to him, but he's decided to go and but grill up some veggie hot dogs or tofu dogs or whatever kind of dogs these are on the neighborhood grill. So we're just going to go pop back in and see what Dustin is doing. She too is also taking advantage of the grill. We have a whole bunch of spoiled goodness just kind of chilling out here. So I'm going to have her go and kind of clean up everything just to tidy up a tad. Now Lincoln has has decided to go ahead and wake up and let me <laughs> let me tell you how much I love this little terror I love him so much he is a wild child crazy beast he is definitely going to be giving Noelle a run for her money being her first boy she really doesn't know how to handle boys and of course look at look at Lincoln <laughs> These two are probably my favorite. Like, seriously, Thorne totally just gave Lincoln a hug. I mean, his armadillo is flapping around right now. This is so gross. Noelle doesn't even know what to do. She's just, look at her. Big old question mark. Not sure. Like, put some pants on, I guess. Like, let's potty train you. What do I do? Uh, so I think we need to either buy a potty or we need to fix the potty. I don't even think we have one, to be honest. So let's just go into the catalog and purchase one. I am dying. Because Noelle, she's not really a very motherly person as is. I mean, for all of you guys who know from the very beginning, she's just not. She's not even really, to be honest, a people person. So for her to have all these children, it's kind of it's kind of overwhelming. Like, what do I do? Uh, so where can I put a toddler potty? Because we don't have, like, anywhere that actually will fit. I mean, I guess I could tuck it nicely behind poor Lilith's bed. Because at this point, where would we put one? <laughs> Maybe if I make it, like, a color of the room, it'll just kind of blend in in the corner like you'll never see it I guess I don't know we'll see um all right so let me just try to potty train Lincoln because this is really not gonna fly he is just the cutest little thing. I love his eyebrows. I really do. And I think that's what makes him him. I can't wait to see what they look like when they're older. I don't know if I cheated and took a peek to see what they look like when they're older. But I honestly can't remember it either. So why is she getting so damn close to her? <laughs> like what is what is going on? Everybody's like having a little powwow in, <laughs> in the twins bedroom. Uh, so I did do a little makeover on them in case you guys want to check it out. He's like, ooh, mommy, what is this? He <laughs> dropping jelly beans. Uh, Brent, on the other hand, has a whim to woohoo with Nicole or Noelle who's Nicole and get to know Noelle as well so he would also like to buy a punching bag and he is grabbing a serving of his hot shows that he could grilled up 
Anyway, it looks like these two are kind of fighting in the kitchen or having a conversation, not really sure what they're doing. And I had Noelle spend the majority of the morning actually trolling the forums, which I guess is a really good way from what you guys have told me to build up that mischief skill. So let me just see how she has progressed. I don't know how much time I got to spend on the computer this morning having her do that. I don't really feel like it was a ton, but we are so close to teetering level six. So I think after she's done... <laughs> <laughs> she's done showing Lincoln how to go poop -poo in the bodies. Uh, we'll have her go and troll the forums a little bit more and then have Brent kind of take over, which would be really helpful so she can get some damn work done. She's also super duper hungry too, but I think her kind of progressing on her mischief skill is top priority right now. And he's like, oh, I thought that was like a grilled cheese. I think he's trying to express the shapes that he sees in the body. Why do I love him? Why? Okay, honestly, if you guys like religiously watch this LP, which I do know a select few of you do. Um, even though it's not the most popular LP on my channel, I really do like these characters because I think they're just absolutely like bonkers nuts. Um, which one's your favorite like out of everyone? Mine, I think, I mean, I really love Thorn. Um, I love Dustin too. She reminds me of a Sim from one of my other LPs and I don't know exactly who, but okay, if I had to choose, Lincoln. I love him. I mean, honestly, who doesn't love a toddler that just reeks mayhem? He's in here. <laughs> butt naked, butt naked, butt naked, like butt naked, um, spreading paint all over the floor. Like, honestly, if this didn't want to make you never woohoo again, I mean, what will, you know, like you live and you learn. This is it. She's done. She's getting her pixel ovaries chapped. <laughs> okay. Look at him. He's just, he's like, he's like wilding out. Wow. He's like, he's doing one of those like cool hip hop dances while he's throwing this paint. Like seriously, where the hell did they find this from? I'm just going to let him do it because I love him and he is my little sweet patootie. He can get away with everything. Meanwhile, Thorne is strutting her stuff doing a little slip and slide action. It is Sunday y'all. So of course we're going to have a little bit of fun. And poor Lincoln is feeling really, really angry, um, and he would like to throw a tantrum. Well, he wouldn't like to, but he's feeling hungry. He's crying naked. Oh, my God. Okay, now this is, like, where it's teetering funny to, like, absolutely sad. So I think what I'm going to have Brent do is get off of the couch, stop watching kids' television, and go over here and make a snack. So I do feel like potentially we need to, like, get some – we need to get some high chairs. Ooh, okay. I really – Kayla, girl, I love like what you've done with the place, but <laughs> we gonna have to delete this real quick. Uh, so I can go ahead and put in the high chairs. So let me go and find a couple that are gonna fit nicely, and we can go from there. <sighs> I usually don't use high chairs. I'm quite lazy when it comes to toddlers. I usually prefer to just kind of, you know, like feed them with whatever. But I feel like if I use these ones, these will look really nice. So we'll just do two of the same to keep it easy. And then that way we can kind of manage them together. Doesn't look too bad. I do like that little like little seating arrangement they had. So I'm going to see if I can put Lincoln in here. And then I'm also going to put in Lil, uh, Lillian. I'm going to wake her up so that Brent can go ahead and do that. And then let's just check up on Noelle and see how she's doing. She wants to complain about her love life and help Thorne with homework. Look at her becoming like mommy material. I love it. What is Thorne doing? Still outside, having a lot of fun, splishing and splashing. And she was going to go watch TV with Brent. By the way, as you guys know, she really, really, really loves Brent, like, a ton. Okay, so it looks like Dustin is about to go use the restroom and also watch TV. TV is, like, super-duper popular this morning. Not exactly sure why. But I do think maybe we should have her go in her room a little bit and possibly, oh, discover this big freaking Crayola crayon mess. Like, what is this? What is life? Let's just go and have her clean it up. Um, even though I do think she'd be kind of pissed off and have maybe have – um. What you call it? Go pick it up. Noel. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like Ray. Um, hey, we heard you became friends with Adiel Landgrab. He's pretty cool. Yes, he is. And his wallet's even cooler. Just saying. Well, let's go and change her. I think I want to give her a new outfit because she's kind of been wearing this one for a while and she's starting to resemble the Grim Reaper just a tidge. And honestly, it's just, <laughs> it's not my feng shui. Oh, girl. I said that even with a herpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's not funny. I am such a hot mess. Why do you guys like me? Why? Oh my god. I don't even want to tell you. If I told you all of my problems, I honestly feel like you guys would just, you would feel bad for laughing. Because I do. I have a lot of issues. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I'm not being trendy or cool or anything. Like, I genuinely, I've got a lot on my plate right now. Like, somebody help me. I'm about to pull a Winona. Not even kidding. <laughs> just 
help. <laughs> SOS, will somebody help me? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, stop it. What should we dress her in? Why she were here next to me telling me what to do? Um, oh, 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 what is this? Okay, I know why this is happening. I know why this is happening. Uh, that's why it's happening. But look at her. This skin, you guys, is like on points. I love this skin. <gasps> She's actually really pretty. Who was it? Oh my god, I can't remember. No, this is a different LP. I said just side note. Somebody told me. No, wait, it is. It is this LP. Is it? Why is it so hard for me to... Oh my god, I can't even remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I feel like somebody... I feel like it was her, but I'm not sure. Ooh, gosh. Somebody said... Okay, let me just spill the beans. I know, I'm probably like so frustrated. Okay, well, what is it? Um, Somebody said that Dustin reminds them of Tiffany from Black Widow, but I don't think that was... Tiffany that she was saying it reminded her of it was somebody from my LPs I can't really remember right now but anyway I can I can see it um so I'm just gonna give her like this really cute like baseball tee I think that's kind of fun uh even though it's not like black or anything I really do like it and then I do think I have a couple extra pieces of Max's match that I'd like to give her Maybe like some high rise. Sorry, I'm laughing. High rise. Um, <laughs> this is giving her a serious moose knuckle right now. High rise pants. I'm sure. Uh, these are actually kind of cute. I like this. I wish the black was a little more blacker. Uh, and maybe if it was, it would look a little bit better. So let me just go scroll up and see if I can find some really cute high-waisted black shorts to go with this. I love it. And then I think for potentially shoes, I really like those. Um, with some socks and I think maybe well she's not really like a total girly girl um, so I'm not gonna have her like really live it up like that she's just kind of basic you know and that's cool I mean that's not an insult it's what she is she doesn't really like to glam up and glitz and all that jazz like no makeup totally her jam I love it you know simplicity at its finest and then, like all this is like super duper dressed up to the nines i feel like a little bit not too bad this one i actually really like of her she's really cute too anyway uh i'm gonna leave it at that i think we're all right so now that we've done that uh, a couple things that Justin would like to do she would like to go swimming and also kind of bask in a hot tub she also really needs to use the bathroom so we're gonna go ahead and have her do that now noelle did reach the level six of the mischief uh skill i think and so with that we now are on the final or no third to four third to fourth final level of the chief of mischief whatever you know what i'm trying to say so basically ch chief of mischief the clog drains at three different homes perform voodoo five times achieve level 10 of the mischief skill somebody told me i needed to do the always a welcome uh, option in the reward store so that when i go and clog drains i'm not going to get like pet patronized or whatever the word is so we're gonna do that one and then I think for you know getting faster promotions or whatever I really want to see if we're gonna be close to getting the professional slacker or no I don't want to do that one there was one where you would get promotions okay the entrepreneurial trait thingy sims will remote okay yeah yeah let's do that we're just going to basically redeem all of her rewards points so we can kind of you know progress a little bit faster but uh, i'm definitely going to have her go and clog some drains three different homes who do we know that we could go and do that too i know we could go over to the goth's house and totally clog mela's drain i think her drains are already clogged oh it looks like we're getting a text message i think it is oh ray wants to know if i want to meet him someplace that's interesting I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Anyway, we're going to have Noelle go over to Mrs. Goth's casita. And we are going to clog some drains. That is going to be the task of the day. Something I have never done in my life. But that is the whole purpose, obviously, of this challenge. To do things we don't normally do. Um... So we'll work on that, and I feel like once we uh, accomplish all of her, you know, her goals and such, we'll we'll end the season one of the Not So Berry Challenge, and then go on to season two, which would be focusing more on Dustin and the Rose aspect of it, or whatever the situation is and her, you know, goals. Um, and we'll break it up like that, so it's just easier to follow. But I feel like we're we're getting kind of close. Uh, we're not like super duper close, but we're also not that far away. Look at her; she looks. You know what? These curves, girl, they looking good on you. You wear them well. You wear them well <laughs> so for people to say that my sims body types are all the same this girl she thicker than a snicker okay that's all i need to say baby girl slim thick all right 
<laughs> she got them baby bear and hips, y'all. Trust me, I feel her on multiple levels. Um, it seems like you have pretty good taste, Ray. We are just so over and done, son. Like honestly, you just might as well, might as well, might as well let it go. We're gonna come and sneak into her kitchen and clog her drain. <laughs> Congratulations on your recent birthday. God, he is really a hooting and a hollering. Is he not, or am I right? <laughs> He needs to uh he needs to slow down before I hit him with this pipe wrench. I'm just saying. Is it a pipe wrench? It is. Okay, go Noel. <laughs> I mean, what are you? Like in your thirties and you're still doing this childish BS? I don't know. Why is he so upset? My poor little Lincoln. Y'all need to be tailoring to him because he is the prince of the challenge. He is my papacito. I love him so much. Make sure that you are making sure that that child is a hundred percent taken care of because I will I will have words. I will have words. And this um, little situation I got, my mouth is really making me feel like, I don't know, making me feel kind of goopy. It's not very, very, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking funny. <laughs> anyway, she would like to show off her muscles to somebody and she's feeling so confident because she had a prank success. It says, there's nothing like a successful executed prank. Yes, ma'am. Okay. By the way, we just got new neighbors into my house. Or not in my house, personally, but, like, next door. You remember the neighbors that hate me? Well, they moved. Um, and now we're going to have new neighbors that are going to end up hating me. And they're probably listening through the walls like, what the hell is this girl talking about? Sneaking into people's houses and clogging drains? Talking about herpes? Like, what is this? <laughs> mm, welcome to the neighborhood. Anyway, why are we just all having, like, a little, a little get-together in the bathroom here? All right, so we've done that. We need to do this at three different homes. So we should just go make house calls uh let's go and visit the residents if we can i don't know if anybody's home so i'm a little afraid to just like walk up to the house you know uh, i'm gonna make sure that whatever house we go to that there are actually people that live there so we have the mccracken family and then we also have the hey baby family anybody that we know montoya oh yes okay we're gonna go over to the montoya household which is our first baby daddy who ended up marrying don lothario and uh, it looks like they've got some clogged pipes that need a little bit of fixing Okay, just a little bit of fixing. So we're going to go fix them. <laughs> just to smack me on the cooler and call me a, you know, <laughs> never mind the wealthy Andy man. I am a mess anyway. But yeah, we're going to go do this. And what is, what is, what is Don doing? Don is just flexing his muscles, doing a little bit of Vogue poses, you know, the typical situation that happens on the streets. All right, so let's pop in here. And we are going to clog his drain. We also need to perform voodoo five times, but we do not have a voodoo doll, do we? I sold it, didn't I? Oh my god. <laughs> why wouldn't we do something like that? I really did. I'm not lying. I totally why do I have this random freaking bear? Like this Mr. Blue Bear. <laughs> What is this? Miss, hey, Mr. Blue Bear. Okay, well, I guess we need to find ourselves a voodoo doll. Anybody have any tips on where we can find one of those? I don't think we can buy one. Uh, but anyway, she's swearing up and down. Uh, it looks like we ended up clogging that drain. So the last one we need to clog, um, we're going to go head on over to the Pancakes household. Yay! <laughs> we're going to go clog Bob and Eliza's drain. We're just, we're just making the rounds, y'all. And then I think we need to find ourselves a voodoo doll, but I know that we can actually find those in the, I want to say, oh goodness, I think the ponds of Oasis Springs. Am I right? Maybe? I don't know. Somebody asked me where we can find cow, cow plant berries, but I know that you can find uh, cow plant berries in the ponds at Oasis Springs Park, like the, the main one, um, in case you guys are wondering. So, knock, knock, visit 25 different lots in The Sims 4. Look at me making all these achievements. You know, I may not have a college degree, baby cakes, but I most cert. What the hell is going on here? <gasps> Eliza? Oh, I thought she was having an affair. <laughs> That's her son, Jen. That's her son. <laughs> we are going to go take a bath in her tub. Oh, my goodness. Uh, just make yourself at home. I mean, that is why you have the always welcome trait, but mm -mm. we're going to go and clog her drain over here, and then I think we will be pretty much finished with that whole um, that whole goal that we needed to accomplish. Sure. And then I'm going to just really quick, just to make things a little bit easier, uh, I'm going to come over here and just dig up some, some findings. And then that way we can just submit these off to what I hope will be the Geo Council to find and discover a few 
extra elements because we're pretty close to that too. And I'm also going to have her look for frogs and just take a quick little gander around in the neighborhood. I mean, I guess we kind of sort of could have did that <laughs> at home, but you know, whatever. It's such a beautiful day. Honest to God, it is such a beautiful day here in the neighborhood. All right, so let me just go and dig up these last few things. And I think she would like to show off her muscles to somebody, but I'm not going to really um, focus on that too much. I just want to go and kind of zoom on through and grab. Ooh, okay. So we just found some limestone, which is interesting. I don't know if I have found that one or seen that one before. All right, so just a couple more things to grab. Oh, I totally missed these guys. I think they just might have spawned. Uh, so let me grab those too. And then what I need to also do when she goes back to work tomorrow morning um, is I will make sure to look around our workplace for some extra elements. And once we uh, go home and send these off to the Geo Council, I should be able to see what we have left on the elements table to discover. Cool, cool. Okay, so she stinks worse than Pinocchio's draws in the hot summer sun. Uh, so I think a shower's in order. Maybe a bath too, since she was trying to get one in, in, <laughs> in the pancakes house. That is so funny. She honestly has like no boundaries whatsoever. Like on, I think, I think you guys, she feels like the world revolves around Noelle, and it kind of does. It kind of does. So I think we've accomplished a pretty big thing today. So we'll spend the rest of the day with the familia, hanging out with the kids, and then taking care of little Lincoln because I love him so much. <laughs> I'm like obsessed. I always do this. I always get like obsessed over a sim in an episode and then it's like, bish who? You know, I move on to the next best thing. But I am definitely obsessed with the City Living Clan. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I really am. I love them so much. Uh, it looks like the family is just hanging out in the living room. Dustin is socializing with Lillian, and Brent is taking care of little Lynx McGinx um, with his super duper freaking crazy cat eyes. Like, when is this going to wear off? If it's going to wear off, he may be permanently stuck like this. No, he's only transformed for another 16 hours, and if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and exit out of that right now. And look, I have my hubby back. Yep. Mm -hmm. How did I do that magic? One more must wonder. <laughs> Bish, I'm a witch. No, I'm swine. Actually, you know what? My husband might call me that a couple times, but you know, whatever. Marital problems. Hi. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> so I'm going to take that like legitimately seriously, but I'm, I'm, I was just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me see. What was I supposed to come home and do? Oh yeah. I was supposed to clean up after myself. So we're going to go pee like a champion. Look at the twins eating. These guys have it covered. All right. So Brent is going to come over here and sell this painting to a collector. And we do need to make up a couple, um, well, we do need to do a couple more paintings because honestly, I really need some more simoleons. We're getting relatively low. Um, and I think Noel needs to send some things off to the Geo Council. Like, look at all of these goodies. So we're going to go, oh, I don't want to call them. Um, I just want to send these off really quick. Let me just do all of those. Uh, the fossils, I don't know if it would be beneficial to extract them. What do you guys think? Would I be better off just selling them as is? Let me know. But I'm just going to finish up sending these last few things. Um, no wonder she stinks. She's got a whole bunch of freaking onions in her inventory. Extract the fossil and boom. Awesome. Oh, I think I forgot this one. Hold on, guys. All right, cool. Now, I do think I have everything. I may be forgetting something, though. Uh, I wanted to go and give the earbuds to Brent. I feel like he would benefit from them a little bit more. I thought I sold these, or I thought I sold this to someone. Oh, wait, no, I kept this one. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, cool. Awesome. So now we've got that. Let's just kind of hang out and see what everyone's doing. Thorn, on the other hand, needs to get her homework done. I think I would say the same for Dustin, but she only has grade school homework, so I'm not really like too worried about that. We may, however, have her go and call um, Ariel. Let's send him a happy text and invite him over. Maybe hang out with him for a little bit, and I don't know exactly how long I've been playing this LP for, but I'm not really worried about it because I'm having a lot of fun. I love this challenge. <laughs> I just love this family. I agree. Let's go out and enjoy the day. You know what? Totally we should. All right, so Desert Bloom, we've been there so many times but i mean this is where he wants to go we can go uh, kick it with him a little bit and just kind of boost our relationship and like i said i do like periodically want to um work on some of her accomplishments for the next uh the next segment of the challenge or the next generation because i don't want it to drag on forever and i feel like if we get a head start on it it would be really helpful so that's what i'm going to do okay um let's see what's happening here who's this chick 
I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be looking, Ariel. Pretty sure. <laughs> Mind your business. Mind your business. All right, so let's go and hug him lovingly. We're going to ask him about woohoo, and then we are going to be a little romantic exchange Hi. promise rings. Hi. How sweet. Ooh, hi. Um, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sucker for a man with a man button. Are you a teenager? No, you want an adult. Okay, we can't even play like that. Who's this chick? Uh, her name is Tammy Landgrab. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. She is totally giving Dustin the sty the, the sty eye. The <laughs> The stink eye, dumbass. Oh my god, I quit. Okay. <laughs> I can't even deal with myself anymore. <laughs> oh my god, I'm over it. She is giving her the stink eye, but look at them. I love them so much. <gasps> oh, I wish, I mean, they could exchange some some promise rings, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Whisper, what does it say? Whisper about crush? Well, you are my crush, silly mongoose. <laughs> All right, let me brighten his day a little bit. Discuss color theories. Let's see what are some things that she would like to do. Go on two oh dates. So I think I could actually ask him on a final date if I wanted to. But we're going to wrap up this part anyway. So it just seems a little a little silly to start a date now. Uh, especially, like, you know what I mean? When we're about to end it. It just doesn't make any sense. But I do feel like we will in the next part. What I'm going to have um, what I'm gonna have Dustin do is actually go fishing. And the reason for that is, is I'm actually on the hunt for a voodoo doll. And if I find one, then he's like, where are you going? I'm just going to go run and fish in the pond because that's normal and all. Uh, but no, really, I am going to try to find a voodoo doll. So if you guys know, like, where they spawn, like, or there's a high spawn area for voodoo dolls, let me know. Because I know that back here, and this is what I was trying to explain to you earlier. Maybe it, it isn't over here. Oh, wait, this one? Yeah, this one, you can find um, cow plant berries really easily, really easily, which is kind of cool. So just FYI. Anyway, where the hell did she go? All right, she's over here, and I don't know if she has discovered anything yet, but she has acquired the fishing skill, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm just going to zoom on through before we end this part and see if we have discovered anything. It looks like she did indeed find herself a tetra, which, you know, big whoop de dup like who cares? Um I think Ariel ended up leaving because we weren't... Oh, no, he's right here. Okay, perfect. I mean, we could have him go fishing with us. I think that would be kind of cool because, I mean, why not? <laughs> That's, like, my answer for everything, like, because why not? You know? I don't know. Um, what the hell are they doing? Okay, so she's in the bathroom, which I think is really freaking weird. I don't know if we're going to go fish in the back of the bathroom stall, but um, I was going to have them kind of hang out together. So I think only one person can fish at a time. That makes total sense. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, it looks like Ray is trying to now invite us. He, like, honestly needs to go. He is harassing the family. <gasps> Bish. Bish. You better fall back. I see you. I oh, did you? <gasps> she is. She I think she just whispered a little something, something in her brother's ears. Trying to warn him about me. Bish, you don't know who I be. I be Dustin. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, don't, don't mess with me. <laughs> Little bish. That's right. You can't with me. All right. I'm, I'm like, oh, I'll go and Cardi B on this boo. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little taken back. Okay, we need to end this part. We're done. I'm, I'm going, I'm going way too ham. Can't handle all this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me here today. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.